What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now, as you guys know from the last episode, well, if you're new, you guys don't know at all. But anyways, if you were tuning in, if you're tuning in from the last episode, you guys know that I own a 2023 Toyota Supra. And I did say in that video that I was going to make a separate video on it. And uh, this is this video. So if you're returning with us for another episode, welcome back. And if you are now just joining with us on the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here and I hope you guys stay for quite a while. Let's jump into the Toyota. So this is my 2023 Toyota Supra in stratosphere blue. Now this car wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't supposed to own this car. I wasn't supposed to buy it. I didn't plan on buying it. So the way that this whole fruition was from my little brother, JJ. So anyways, the way that that car happened was my little brother, JJ. He ordered this car because he loved the color and he wanted the Supra. He ordered this car and it was supposed to be a manual. Well, as you can see, it is not a manual. So the dealership screwed up. This is the color he wanted. This is the spec he wanted. This is exactly what he wanted, but just in a manual. So the dealership messed up and they ordered it in an automatic. Now he was pretty upset when the car came in and it was not a manual like he had asked. The dealership was, let's say, not really budging with flexibility. They had basically told him that they couldn't order him another Toyota Supra, the same spec, until this car was bought. Now, I know, and you guys know, that is completely BS. So, just to appease the dealership, all right, and to, for my brother to get the car that he wanted, I bought the car. So, am I upset about buying the car? No, but is it what I wanted, I guess? I mean, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I was looking for an F80. I was really set on buying an F80, and uh, it was in my price range. But again, to help family, I did what, I don't know if anybody, if any other brother would do this, but you know, for me, honestly, I didn't really matter to me. The car's great, it's awesome. I knew that it was going to be a fantastic car for me, so I bought it. And uh, with me helping him, I got a great car out of it. And uh, he was able to order himself another car. And here it is. This is his 2023 Toyota Supra in, I don't know what color this is. It's, uh, it's white, obviously, but uh, it's got some pearl and metallic in it. It's a really pretty color. Not what I would want. I, I honestly like the blue better, but this is his and it does have the manual like he had wanted so anyways and he also has carbon mirror caps i don't know if i should do these if you guys leave a comment down below if i should get some carbon mirror caps i think these are pretty cool what i am jealous of though that he does have and i don't is it's kind of stupid but i'll show you guys anyways is this freaking floor mat i love this floor mat i want it toyo sells it i think it's like 60 or 70 bucks but I think it's a ripoff. It should be like 30 bucks. It's a, it's a freaking floor mat, but I am jealous of that. That's pretty cool. Um, so yes, this is his car. He got the spec that he wanted, not in the color that he wanted. But anyways, it, besides the fact, he got the manual and he loves it. My car, I absolutely love. Color's amazing. The wheels are freaking beautiful. I was going to originally get five spoke chrome wheels and slap them on this car, but I'm gonna go a different route. Now, buddy of mine who lives out in California owns the same exact car, same exact color, and he threw some CCW, I don't know what model wheel it is, but he threw some CCWs on there, and they're in chrome, and they're big boy tires, and so it really sparked the idea of what I really wanted to do to this car, and uh, you guys will see it, in later videos how you know what i what modifications i put onto this car and how i style it my way it's going to be really cool and it's not going to be too super obnoxious but it's going to be you know a token of this is bruno's car so anyways besides that 
my Toyota Supra, I love it. The wheels are great. Brakes are phenomenal. Uh, it's got, I, I think, pretty sure these are Brembos. If I, there's gotta be a Brembo stamp somewhere, but pretty sure those are Brembos. If they're not, correct me. The body lines on this car, absolutely amazing. The hips are very wide. One thing I don't like about this car is that, you know, it's got a shit ton of blind spots, uh, but you get used to it over some time. So it's not really the worst thing in the world. The taillights knocked that out of the park. Exhaust, the note is absolutely incredible. For a stock car with stock pipes, stock everything, has catalytic converters, it does sound really good. <laughs> one thing i did have done to this car right when i purchased it was a full ppf on the front end my front bumper the all the inlays here are all done in ppf my headlights the front fenders even the mirror caps and my pillars i know that these scratch up like crazy and i did not want these to be all uh scratched like how these are Check it out see right there not a big fan of that and so i got mine ppf which i am very happy that i did my buddy ryan from teggy elite detailing he's out in queens hit him up he's freaking phenomenal with this shit. he knows his stuff and he cares about his customers so if you're looking for a ppf guy uh or a detailer hit him up uh if you're looking for an estimate Give him a call. I'll leave his information down below and tell him that I sent you. Maybe he'll give you a discount. Who knows? Not really sure. Ryan, if you're watching this, help my boy out. All right, guys. So we are inside this Toyota Supra. Now, on the inside, it is very comfortable. I have a lot of space here for my legs. I'm about 5'9"-ish. And, you know, no complaints with uh, seating position. Do have a lot of headroom here, as that there is a hump right there. A lot of you may know. Besides the fact uh, the interior being very comfortable and spacious, uh, you do get a very nice infotainment system here from BMW with the iconic scroll wheel that's found in many, many, many BMWs. On the center console here, you do have awesome carbon fiber. The carbon fiber weave looks phenomenal. Very cool touch. The cluster here is very minimal you you're really not distracted while driving and as you can see i have a uh, 2200 miles i told you guys i don't drive this car all that much but now that i am introducing this car to you guys on the channel i'll be doing a hell of a lot more mods and i will be driving the hell out of this thing i wanted to you know have first reactions and kind of showcase that to you guys that are watching so you guys kind of understand the full experience of how i feel about this car so anyways the um the performance of this car is very very good i'd probably give it about a seven and a half eight, eight out of ten the transmission feels very very good it's just very fast it's a torque converted transmission which i was very surprised about transmission in this car it, it's very snappy it's very lightning fast it's it's right on par with the DCT, but it's not there yet. Uh, you do notice some latency between shifts, but it's not really all that noticeable if, you know, you're just a regular dude driving a car. But anyways, um, transmission feels really good. The suspension, oh boy, is this a tight suspension. The suspension feels very comfortable uh, when you want it to be, but as soon as you throw it in sport, the steering wheel tightens up. The throttle response becomes more responsive. You have the actuators for the exhaust. So anyways, performance, very up there. I enjoy it. A lot of amenities with this car too. So you have like blind spot assist, uh, adaptive cruise control. You have the heads up display, which I really, really enjoy. Memory seating, a whole bunch of other things that are very big pluses in my book. But the one thing that I really don't like about this car, not a lot of people, a lot of people are going to agree with me here because the car's been out for a couple of years now. And a few of you guys that are watching probably own a Toyota Supra would agree that the uh, sound system, it, it just absolutely sucks. It does not sound remotely as good as other cars that I've been in. I would say that my Nissan over there sounds a hell of a lot better than this car. And that's a stock sound system. Now, if you guys have owned a 350Z before, uh, a lot of people say that the sound system in that car doesn't even sound as well either. 
but you know with some changes to it you could sound a little bit better but anyways i would say that the stock sound system in the nissan sounds a hell of a lot better than the stock sound system in this supra but there is a fix for it uh, i will be covering in a later episode the sound system sucks in this and if a hell of a lot more people are complaining and doing their own little modifications to make it sound better you best believe that i'm doing it too be on the lookout for that but um besides the uh, the sound system this car is just an amazing car to own for sixty thousand dollars you get a lot of car for that money again you get lane keep assist you get blind spot assist uh adaptive cruise control great infotainment system um heads up display and you get the amazing b58 in this car so for sixty thousand dollars i think i could compromise with the sound system would it be better if the sound system sounded better yes absolutely uh, the car uh makes up for a lot let's Let's start this car up because that's probably one of my favorite things about this car is the way it sounds. Now, this is a completely stock exhaust. I do plan on doing some modifications to it, but uh, nothing, you know, too extensive. Uh, I'm probably just doing some minor, minor changes, but let's get a little note check here. So let's turn the car on in sport mode. Right off the bat, um, when you have the car warmed up and you go ahead and start it, it does give you those very subtle pops. It sounds so good. Let's give it some revs here. <laughs> oh, such a cool party trick to have, um, especially stock. All the time, I, I it. it always puts a smile on my face every single time so uh <laughs> besides it sounding so good this car in general is just a great buy if you're a young person you're around like 25 to 30 definitely buy this car definitely experience it uh, i would i highly recommend it anyways this is the car that we're going to be modifying on the channel it's going to be a fun journey so i hope you guys stay tuned for it again Gonna be subtle changes to this car, not gonna be a super extensive process like how the Nissan was. If you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe, make sure you share this video with, I don't know, a friend that might like it or your parents or your dog or your sister, or your brother, your brother's friends. I don't know, get the word out because man, we're going to be doing a lot to this car. It's going to be really, really cool. So stay tuned for it.